Hi guys, it's Marshall here with this week's Sanity Check. This week we're going to talk about a concept called childhood emotional neglect. I've touched on it a few times in previous Sanity Checks, but this is an important topic, especially if you're struggling with codependency, insecurity, or anxiety, or even a high sensitivity to rejection. What childhood emotional neglect is, is the systemic indifference of a parent to the child. Now this kind of neglect can happen in a variety of ways. It can be done with total silence, they just don't care or have an interest in your world as a child, your interests, your fears, your anxieties, your feelings, your hopes, your joys. They may be critical of those things, they may attack them, they may diminish them, they may praise you but not necessarily engage you emotionally like oh that's really cool and then they go back to reading their paper or doing whatever they're doing neglect comes in a variety of forms and it happens to all of us but when it becomes systemic when it's an actual experience of the relationship on a predominant level we as children begin to experience trauma that way the trauma is a sense of not belonging abandonment, wondering if we matter. Because, you know, abandonment and, and um, especially with narcissistic abuse, a lot of times we walk out of that going, do, am I enough? Am I valuable? And do I matter? Well, childhood emotional neglect creates the same kind of experience for the child. Do I matter? Am I interesting? Am I lovable? Because we model our value as a child based on the response our parents give us over time. And that's the key here. We're going to have moments. We are, we're all, if we're a parent, we know that <laughs> we don't have all the time in the world to give the children. But we make an effort to make a long-term investment so that they know that they're loved, they're valued, and they're a priority. Well, in this circumstance, it's reversed. The parent gives us moments of praise, moments of love, moments of inclusion, but between those points are long deserts of nothing. Either it's filled with criticism, indifference, emptiness, but there's no engagement, there's no connection. And we begin, as children, to struggle with what it means to be loved or to be valued we don't gain an insight into the mundane of our life because <laughs> the mundane is where the secret is for thriving intimacy. That's, that's kind of the magic here, the mundane. Your everyday experience is valued by people who care about you. They want to know how you felt when the sprinkler didn't work. They want to hear about your story about the old lady at Walmart that kept bumping into you. They want to hear about the weird coworker at, at you know, work, that kind of stuff. They, they want to know how you feel about it. They want to know what you're thinking about it and what it means to you. Because that's genuine, what I call mundane emotional intimacy. Because life is dominantly boring, but within that, when someone's in love with you or you're in love with someone, those things become magical. They, they, feed us in a way in which we feel connected with them and we want to know more of that and hear about it that's that's what we lose when we don't have a parent that's actively engaged in our well-being or in what works for us see so what i want you to do this week is take a moment and check in with how well you have felt recognized seen and valued by your parent do it on a scale of one to ten one being they didn't really engage with me. I'm not sure if they loved me. I believe they loved me, but I don't necessarily feel it. And 10 being, oh man, they loved me. I know that they were engaged. They asked me about my day. They would take time to spend with me and talk to me. We'd hang out. We'd do fun things. We had our own little things that were precious to us. I know I mattered to them. Okay? So I want you to kind of gauge it that way. And if you find that you're, you're on a 7 or below, Let's reach out. Let's connect. Let's see what we can do to help tune that up and help you grieve what was not given to you in your childhood and begin to expand you in this. Now, if you want to learn more about this concept, 
check out Jonas Webb's book called Running on Empty. She's a psychologist that's specialized in this. And I love her material. I teach her material with my coaching clients, and I've used it personally for myself. And it's, it's one of the most powerful concepts and, and books out there for this topic. So give it a shot. I have it linked above or below, depending on if this is on Facebook or if this is on YouTube. Okay. Thank you, guys. I, uh, I just thank you for being a part of my world. My, my world is expanding because of you. You guys have invested your time, your energy. Some of you have signed up with me. You work with me. And you've contributed to me and to my purpose in life at a huge degree. And I am just so excited that you're part of it. And I'm grateful you're a part of it. So this uh, holiday season, let's have some fun. There's some exciting stuff coming up. I've got a For Love of Money course being released in two weeks. The sign up is uh, listed above or below, obviously, where if we're on Facebook or YouTube. And then I've got a rejection course, Get Over Rejection Now, coming. And then the 10 laws are coming. And then the mastery and the closure technique is coming. So there's a lot of stuff coming over the next three to six months here that's going to be exciting that I know will transform your life because it's transformed mine and it's transformed the lives of hundreds of my clients. So, okay guys, we'll talk soon. We'll see you next week. Have a great Halloween and have a great day. Bye-bye.